What's going on? How are you guys this week? I'm sure most of you heard that New York City was completely flooded out with the hurricane and my business has been no exception. So first I'm going to show you guys the clip that I took when I came in to assess our damage. All right, so it's Friday. The storm was Wednesday night and the water damage isn't too bad. I was actually being optimistic. I didn't bring my regular camera down, so I'm filming this on my phone. Unfortunately, uh, we had, I don't know, maybe two or three inches of water on the floor everywhere in the basement. Thankfully, most of my stuff wasn't on the floor, but I did have a decent amount of stuff on the floor. Thankfully, what was on the floor was sealed in a cardboard box and even if it was in a cardboard box and the box got soaked it was still in plastic so i don't think anything is actually lost besides maybe a few hundred dollars worth of cardboard boxes you know, a lot of people were way worse off than that uh, most of the wi-fi shielding stuff was on the pallet just some cardboard i probably have to throw out here and maybe take some some of the stuff out of these soaked boxes i don't know even if i have to to be honest um I don't know if I should just leave that like that or take the stuff out, but it's not that much. You know, this stuff is on pallets. There's a pallet there. I mean, this basement used to flood before we had the sewer fix, so I'm used to it. I don't, know. I don't think this got wet. It looks fine. Water got all the way in here, but everything was off the floor for the most part. It doesn't look like the water got in here, though. It looks like it kind of stopped here. Could be way worse. I was a little worried about it, and I was trying to think in my head, you know, how much stuff do I have down here? It looks like the water actually got pretty high. I'm stepping about an inch of it right now. I have to get my guys to mop this up. So on this chair, that's like a little higher. That's like three inches high. I can't complain. What I'll do is I'll bring some dry cardboard boxes down from upstairs, and I'll just put everything back in another box that's not wet and I'll just pile all the wet stuff up to show you guys how much. So it's not too bad. I mean, it smells like sewage, not horrible sewage, but you can smell it's not good. I don't really know how this box got wet because it's like, this is like two, three feet off the ground. Maybe some water was leaking from the ceiling or somewhere else. I don't think the water level got that high. I'm looking at this box of black soap. Okay, so the bottom ones are ruined, so I'm gonna have to empty that crate out. That's not too bad. Uh, so for this room, we got all this cardboard, maybe a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff is lost. I don't know if my agency has flood insurance, but I'm going to have to check. And I guess we'll do the room over there now. Kind of funny, that box that got wet had a uh, mop bucket in it. So maybe it's telling me to actually mop instead of just cleaning this shit up. But we'll see if my landlord will clean up this sewage because it won't do anything else. So now we got... A decent amount of cardboard on the floor here. Yeah, there's a lot in here. Let me, just about as much as in there. Nothing too crazy though, so. Yeah, it doesn't look like the water got, oh, it did. It doesn't make sense, cause like, that box is like two, three inches up, but this box didn't get, maybe this box is just, oh, I could feel it got wet. It just dried out quicker cause of the material. But yeah, you know, nothing too crazy. Most of the stuff, as you guys see, it's wrapped in plastic in the boxes or it's a plastic outside and the water didn't get in. I mean, I can't properly assess the damage, but it's probably closer to like $2,000 worth of, of stuff that's ruined. You know, I have to consider that this is sewage and anything it touches basically has to be thrown out because of bacterial purposes. So thankfully, only had a few thousand dollars worth of stuff potentially on the floor. I mean, I should have expected it, right? Of course, the U.S. government is going to enact climate warfare on its own citizens and destroy their businesses and livelihood. Yeah, um, you know, most people are a lot worse off than I am, so... But uh, this shit should not be happening, so... I'll see if I can get this sorted out. Gotta mop up all this extra water. There's maybe like a quarter inch on the floor still. So I'll get my guys to bring all this garbage upstairs. We'll get it carted away. I'll have them mop the floors and then disinfect them. And then hopefully we're back to normal operating. Uh, I'll probably just pull this bag out of here and uh, get rid of that. I'll pull whatever's out of there and get rid of that container. But everything else is, is accounted for. And thankfully this stuff was 
you know, just high enough off the ground on these racks that it did not get touched by the water. Uh, so by the time this video goes up, this should all be cleaned up. So I'll, I'll show you guys the cleanup job. And uh, I'm a little irritated because now I don't get to go tanning today, but maybe I'll just save some work for tomorrow and get the orders out later. So that flood video was Friday. Today is Monday. I had my guys mop everything. It still smells like sewage down here, but it does not look bad at all. So I guess we could take a look around. I mean, some stuff was on the floor. I don't know if it works anymore. I didn't check out these wires. I still didn't get in here to uh, set up this computer, but everything looks okay. So since the water didn't really raise over the level of the pallets, we only had you know, maybe $1,000, $2,000 worth of damaged stuff. But now, as you guys could see, I basically took every single thing off the floor. Here, here was the worst where I had more stuff on the floor, but now it's all mopped up. I have a dehumidifier running, but I don't have a drain hose for it, and I gotta buy a bigger one because it just fills up in a couple hours. But everything looks okay. Only slight smell of sewage now, and uh, we should be good. Before we go upstairs to complain about the dehydrator, I was supposed to pick up the new Wi-Fi shielding clothing this morning, but I'll just get it tomorrow morning. We'll still have it as soon as this video is posted. So if you guys want the new Wi-Fi shielding tank top and shorts, it will be available in all sizes starting this week. I know you guys have been waiting quite a while, uh, but maybe we'll do uh, another video focusing a little more on that later this week. Wi-Fi shielding.com. So it's actually Labor Day and I'm a little bit upset that, you know, it, it's really, really nice outside and I'm stuck in this warehouse for a couple hours. So I'm probably not going to get to tan today or tomorrow. And uh, uh, that brings up something that I didn't want to figure out to talk about. Uh, I probably need to, you know, get in some sun over the winter. So I'm actually debating on taking a couple months vacation and just getting away from this nonsense. Uh, so I'm going to try to get uh, my dad to come down and help and and try to train these guys so they can do everything on their own because if i can't like get somewhere where the uvb index is high and just tan and, and just feel better i don't know how much longer it's going to take me to heal my liver and everything because with all the crap they've been spraying in new york over the past summer i haven't been able to tan at all so i haven't been able to like really heal myself and feel better and because of that i'm looking at uh just taking two, three months off over the winter. Not sure how possible it is with the way the business is going, but I mean, I, I just don't care at this point. Uh, so quick summary of this dehydrator bullshit nonsense, if you guys haven't been keeping up with it. We're in over $10,000 so far. It hasn't been operational for a month. Right when it came in, the first electrician that I trusted rewired the whole thing, claimed it was broken. It probably wasn't broken, so now it wasn't working. And I've had four other guys in here to attempt to fix this thing and none of them could figure it out. I contacted the Chinese factory. They said they can send a control panel over or send an engineer over to fix it. And I was like, okay, it's only $500 or $1,000. Let's just get this thing fixed and up and running. And then the Chinese warehouse shut down because of you know what. So now I'm completely screwed because I can't find anyone. I, you know, I called up a dozen electricians in New York that knows how to fix this or work on it. And the Chinese people just are, are not working right now. So uh, I'm really getting aggravated. I'm talking to my lawyer about pursuing this electrician, but I don't even know if it's worth it. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm out even like more money because if I spend 10,000 on this and it's not operational for two months, I'm losing at least 500 to a thousand dollars a week in jerky sales, you know, which is, you know, five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars over the period of time. So it's, it's just pretty upsetting, but whatever. Oh, uh, the garage door is also broken, so it never ends. It never ends. We had, we had the flooding earlier this week, and now this garage door isn't working. So I got to come in early tomorrow and be here for this garage repair guy and, and do some other stuff. So <sighs> part of the reason I just want to get out of here for three months, and I don't really care what happens, as long as they can just keep the business afloat, and then I can come back. All right, guys, we'll take a quick look in the freezer. I don't think we have any new products this week, but I'm trying to restock everything. Uh, we're basically out of ribeye steaks. Uh, which is not good so i'm trying to get some in this week outside of that everything else we got so we got way too many sirloin steaks plenty of filet mignon tenderloin a decent amount of stew meat left tri-tip steaks picanha steaks beef belly we got brisket in stock portion we got full beef belly we got the top round roast we have plenty of chuck roll 
short ribs over there, some venison. We got all the pork against the wall now. Uh, these are the orders that the guys are going to fill tomorrow. Lamb is in, chicken, too much ground beef, way too much ground beef. We got the goat organs. We got some beef fat in stock. I'm going to try to get lamb fat back. And we have, a lot of you guys have been waiting for the beef liver and beef heart to be fully back in stock. Uh, way too much sirloin, way too many pork ribs. And that's the organ grind that we're actually plowing through. So, you know, I've been hands off a little bit the past month or two. Uh, it's kind of getting hard to keep track of inventory. So I'm going to try to really buckle down and get everything back in stock as much as I can this week. Um, but um, that should be it. Uh, my guy today is working on doing the best bars and I'm going to do some orders for uh, Frankie Strange Foods, Wi-Fi Shielding Naturals. I, I got a bunch of stuff to catch up on because I couldn't do the order since the basement was flooded the past few days. So I got maybe 25 or 30 orders to do, which isn't that much. I'm just exhausted. So let me jump on that and finish that. We do have a lot of water kefir grains so what i did was i put these on sale so i reduced the price of one and if you buy two three or four of these uh, there's a pretty nice discount so uh, you can buy like four or five or six of these at once make a, a nice concentrated batch of water kefir so that you don't have to buy you know the water kefir on its own which we do sell and we do have available right now might as well show you guys the flex dros too if you guys didn't see the video last week on what this is it's a 100 percent glucose powder i've actually been drinking it the past few mornings with some lemon juice and I'll, I'll do a recipe this weekend for it maybe like a healthy version of gatorade so you can get that on frankie's free range foods so i'll check in with you guys in maybe half an hour an hour uh when i'm done with all these orders so i mentioned earlier i was gonna get my dad to come down and help out a little bit he actually uh came down and showed up today although i told him we'd start last week so for the past like hour and a half i've just been showing him some stuff and, and just kind of like a tour uh, we did finish all the orders for uh, the foods, the naturals, the Wi-Fi shielding. So that stuff is going to go out tomorrow uh, as soon as USPS can pick it up. Uh, we got everything ready to go for you guys. We're going to fill all the meat orders tomorrow and get everything out as soon as possible. But outside of that, uh, you guys will probably be seeing, I guess, maybe my dad can come down as many days a week as he can. Uh, but we'll, we'll just see how things go over the next few weeks, month or two, and, and take it from there. But Thank you guys for joining me today. If you have any questions about any products, what's going on this week, just leave me a comment down below, send me an email. You can see all of the businesses on frank defoncom But if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.